Hello all, welcome back. Today, in this session, we are going to understand the differences between the stack and the heap. This can be treated as an operating system concept or can be treated as a data structure concept. Both are pretty much linked and this session will last long for about 5 minutes and this will give you a clear idea about the differences between these two. First, why do we need stack or heap? First point is very simple. I need memory for everything. Every operation in my system goes on with memory and without it nothing happens. When there is memory, some techniques are to be there to manage the memory. As in, how do we assign memory? How do we deallocate memory? What is the method that we access the memory? All these are very important. We will make it simple. We need stack, heap, queue kind of structures to access memory, to allocate memory, to deallocate memory and to use it. Memory organization techniques are very important. So stack and heap are one of those ways where we can access, allocate, deallocate memory. What is the difference, fundamental difference between the heap and the stack? Well, one guy is very cool and very neatly organized. That is stack. This is stack. This guy is very well organized and you can see that it's very neatly built. Another guy is totally clumsy and he doesn't care about anything. That guy is unorganized and he is called heap. Very simple. Heap is nothing but collection of storage, but you do not know any schemes, any methods to allocate memory in a proper order. But on the other hand, stack is also collection of memory, but the allocation of memory happens in a predefined order. The push pop techniques will help you to push the content onto the memory. Pop will help you to take the content of the memory. And there is a scheme, there is a method which has been followed, which makes it very good and very organized. So stack is linear in approach. Stack is sequential. It is used for static memory allocation. On the other hand, heap is not so. Heap is totally clumsy in the sense there is no methods, there is no schemes followed to allocate the memory in a proper order. It is all random. The pictures are presented here for your understanding. This guy is Mr. Perfect. This guy doesn't care about perfection. Well, which is faster, stack or heap? Understand, you have got five books in your table. You arranged it in proper order. You want book number three to be taken from there. It is very easy to take and you will take it faster because you have got an arranged table. On the other hand, you have got five books in a very clumsy manner, thrown here and there. You need to find out a book. It takes time. So heap is not fast. Stack is fast. Very simple. Being organized helps you to be faster. Well, I need to give you some more information about the stack and then heap for us to get a clear understanding about the distinction between these two. Stack is a non-primitive data structure, which means it is not available by birth in the system. You need to create it. It is a linear data structure. It can have only linear access and non-random access. We have got a pile of books in front of us and you can add books only to the top of the book. The current book is available in the top. You can add book over it alone. When you want to pull out a book from the middle, you cannot pull out just like that. You need to take the books at the top and then go to the middle, then rearrange it properly. So there is a method, there is a sequential access which is permitted and only that you need to follow. You cannot have ready access with an intermediary material. The readily accessible content or the book is available only at the top. That is the point. I can add content to the top. I can remove content only from the top. The first sent content goes to the last. The last sent content goes to the first and we regard it as LIFO. And we need somebody to track where is the topmost book available and that is done with the help of the pointer called as top point. That's it. An element can come into the stack only through the top. An element can leave from the stack only from the top of the stack. That's it is the point. Now there are some key points that you need to understand about stack. It stores elements in the continuous or contiguous memory, memory locations. It's like an array but see the array in the vertical pattern. Only the topmost element can be accessed using top pointer. Accessing any other element is possible through a linear traversal that is completely based on the principle of LIFO. That's it. It's stack. Stack is well organized. Now heap, what is it? I've got a heap of sand and stones and rocks here, small rocks here. It is very unorganized as you see. No standard approach is followed. It is completely random and unpredictable. The most important point when memory is allocated, the system quickly analyzes and it gives you the available free memory if at all is available 
and the address of the allocated portion will be given to the pointer as a return value. A deallocation can be done with say free or delete kind of approaches where it will be freed. Most important point again here is this is very dynamic. This can be used for runtime approaches. Now we need a table right for comparison. We go with the table here. What is the method followed in stack? Simple, last in, first out. Heap, very simple, it is random. Allocation of memory, how does it happen? It happens through standard automatic procedure of push and pop. You need not bother about where it will be allocated, how many bytes will be allocated. It knows, only thing that you need to know is where is the top pointer and based on that you can start piling up the content into the stack or start removing the content from the stack. Heap, it is all manual. You request it, it will be allocated, simple. Implementation is little tougher than heap because in heap there is no pattern, no guideline, nothing. Just request memory if it is available, it will be allocated. Here you need to have access to the top pointer. You need to accordingly move it. If it is linear traversal, it is going to be a problem for you to reach the middle book. Something like that is always there. So implementation has to be done with a little more care in stack than heap. Access time, obviously stack is faster because it is very well organized. Heap, slow. Locality principles. What is principle of locality? Very simple. It is the tendency of a processor to access some particular memory locations repeatedly over a period of time. I access one particular book. I may access it in near future. How sooner will I access and how easy it would be? That's it. I have five books in my table. I need to access the first book. I accessed it. And how sooner will I access the same book again? How sooner will I access the next book to the first book again? How sooner will I access the rest of the books again in the table? That's it is called principles of locality. There are two principles available here. The first principle is temporal locality. Second principle is spatial locality. And I have dealt this in detail in my embedded system playlist. In stack, this locality principles can be easily adapted and it's very easy and smooth for you to understand it with stack. But in heap, it is absolutely difficult because it is totally unorganized. That's it. This session gave you a clear difference about the stack and the heap. I hope you enjoyed the session. We'll come back to you with more materials and more topics in near future. Thank you very much for your consistent support that you guys have been giving me. Thank you.